Wow. We have got something really interesting to talk about today. This is a, these are Mantis knives. These were designed by G&G Hawk. Here are the actual part numbers. There's a drop point and there is a Tonto. So they are about a hundred bucks. Uh, I believe the drop point is about a hundred bucks and the Tonto is 135 bucks from Knife Center. These came to me via Professor EDC, and I'll put a link to his channel down below, and all that good stuff. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. I know that G&G Hawk, they are the ones who came up with the deadlock, the only o OTF that has zero blade play. And I recently had one here that just got sold, and it is boxed up in the other room to go out tomorrow in the mail because I am filming this on Monday, um, the holiday. So there was no mail today, but I already boxed it up and it's ready to ship out. So I can't really compare, but this is a gear driven knife. Yeah, these are real gears and they are what drive the knife out. So if I can try to do this here, I'm going to just try to break the detent and then pull it open. But there is a, a, a fire panel a button lever that you push in and the blade flies out and locks open. So it is a liner lock, gear, a gear-driven liner lock. And when you close the blade, that lever goes back to where it came from. And away you go. Like, it is freaking cool. And I'll zoom out and I'll show you, like, in real speed, what that looks like. But just to give you an idea. So this one is a more stonewash blade. This one is just a coated blade. So how it works in real life is you just pull this lever towards your index finger and it fires out. It is genius. It's just really cool. I can't explain it. Now these are smaller knives. They're just under three inch blades and we'll go through all the specs in a minute. But so cool and interesting. And for us mechanical guys, I think a lot of us, as we get into collecting Knives, watches, a lot of us are into cars, off-road vehicles, whatever, motorcycle. You know, we're into these different mechanical machines and things. I think we always kind of dive into the mechanics of a knife that we can't see. And oftentimes, if it's just a standard flipper, it's a pivot, some bearings, and a, a tab. Like, there's not much to it. Honestly, when we get into different kind of locks and different kind of mechanisms, some of us tend to kind of geek out a little bit, which is just cool. And this is totally a geek out type of thing. Is it practical? Well, it's not impra impractical, if, if that makes sense. Now, this one... This particular one, the lever sits a little bit tight and it looks like there is a little bit of marking on the blade where it's kind of scratching. That lever is touching the blade and driving across. I don't see that on this one. The lever is more where it should be and I expect it to be. This one, yeah, there's kind of an issue. So I'll reach out to Professor EDC. These came to me straight brand new from Knife Center. So that's something that, EDC, that uh, Professor EDC can reach out to them on and discuss and go from there. But very cool. And because the lever is a little out of position, this one is has a different feel when it opens. So let's go through the specs real quick. They're both the same so we'll just talk about one. It's four and a sixteenth 
closed. It is seven inches overall. 2.84 inch blade, 2.71 cutting edge. The drop point is a little thinner behind the edge at 0 0.23, 0 0.24, whereas this guy is 0.031. I think I said 0.24. It's 0 0.024, 0 0.031. Blade thickness is about the same at 0 0.01, 0 0.106. My dyslexia is getting in the way of my notes. Blade steel is 440C. They weigh in at four ounces. The Tonto is 4.2 ounces. Maybe because of the brass gear ring. Not sure, but this one is just slightly heavier. Uh, it also does not have the swedge ground out. So that all of those little things added up could equal that 0.2 ounces. Overall thickness is 0.4. Five, four, seven, and it runs on, yeah, you guessed it, gears. It's very cool. Aluminum scales, 440C blade steel, 430 stainless, I think is what they're using for the uh, liner. They are not really drop shut, if that's what you're looking for. I don't know. These are. Maybe a little gimmicky, but kind of cool in that gearhead machinist. Hey, I work on cars growing up and now I can see a knife. Like, it's just cool. I like this one a little better because it is more stonewash blade. I'll kind of just give you a close up walk around the whole thing. Got some gears, you've got a liner lock. Aluminum scales with a lanyard hole. Pocket clip that works fine. 440C, G&G Hawk um, over there. It's Gavin and Garrett, I believe is what it is. Um, I love the stone wash on this one. I prefer it over just the standard coating on this one. Eh, this one is lightly stone washed, actually, the closer you look at it. It is stonewashed. It's just not as heavily stonewashed. I prefer the heavy stonewash. And I think it's kind of cool that they do a little bit different on the Tonto with the brass gear. It's just cool. So do a couple of just real quick size comparisons. I don't even know. Do we need to do size comparisons? Maybe that gets a little old. Here it is with the Sharpie and the Spyderco Delica just to give you an idea on the size. I don't think we need to compare it to everything in the world because that's not what we're here for. And we're not just trying to drag out the video and get more views because it is what it is. Please go check out Professor EDC's channel. It will be down below because uh, show him some love for sending me like 20 something knives brand new from Knife Center. And a shout out to Knife Center for actually sending it to me, letting him pay from Mexico. I know there's always some drama there with the international stuff. And, you know, Knife Center doesn't have to just ship to an address that is different than the payment. So shout out to them for working with Professor EDC and myself to get me his uh, box o' knives, we're calling it. Have a great day, guys. And please go check out Professor EDC.